In tonight's Positively Michigan, a donated set of wheels will go a long way for a local church. News Channel 3's Aaron Demick live in the newsroom tonight with details. Aaron. Okay, the church was left reeling after someone broke in and took one of its vans for a joyride. But now, thanks to the help of a local business, the church's programs are rolling again. Friday night, this safe space for dozens of families became a crime scene. It was a very hard thing for our church to go through. Police say a 15-year-old boy smashed through a window of the cold water church of the Nazarene, took the keys to one of their vans, and drove off. The boy refused to stop for police, and there was a pursuit. It ended when the van went into a ditch, rolling over several times. The van was totaled. To be honest, I cried because I didn't know how we were going to bust in our children. Children's pastor Stephanie Gagurich says it was more than just a simple church van. That van is used to transport our children on Wednesday nights. We have a huge Wednesday night children's program that brings in 30 to 40 busing kids in our community. And it also brings in um, children for tutoring on Thursday nights, free tutoring. Church members started brainstorming what to do next. A congregation member, Steve Smith, um, went up to Halet, told him our situation, and Halet jumped right on board. Halet Auto and RV in cold water is loaning the church a 15-passenger van for free. This time of the year, it's kind of tough. You get a lot of activities going on. And in a community like Coldwater, which I think is pretty special, um, people do that. That's what you do, you know, when they're in time of need. And, and we're fortunate and blessed to have what we have. Um, it's, it's nice to, to reach out and pay it forward, too. The church hopes to use it for the next three weeks, giving them time to find a new ride. We are so grateful. It is, it's just a huge stress lifted off us. And um, it's a great community. We love our community. Um, we're in our community, and we're just thankful that they came forward to help us out. The teen accused of stealing the van only suffered minor injuries in the crash. He is now facing charges. Reporting live in the newsroom, Aaron Dimmick, News Channel 3.